Um, hi, my name's Kylie Price and I'm the Head of English at Glen Waverley Secondary College. Um, well, when I initially um, saw Knowledge Quest, um, the game, I was really excited. Uh, we don't use a lot of games currently at the school as part of our programs and I thought it might be a fantastic way of engaging particularly a lot of the boys when are already really um, passionate about gaming that it might be another way um, to engage them in learning in English. Yeah, I think the Knowledge Quest game um, provides a really fantastic opportunity for teachers because um, while in the past you might have given the whole class a worksheet, um, some students might have already understood that work, it might have been too difficult for some students, allowing students to use the game means that they can work at their own pace um, and that they can complete modules that are relevant to them. So in terms of um, personalising learning for students, I think the game provides um, a fantastic opportunity for us to do that and I think that in the future um, we will be using a lot more gaming and we're already using a lot more technology in the classroom. I think this is just um, one new aspect of that movement in education. As we're seeing at Glen Waverley, a lot of the students now um, are being given their own netbooks and I think that this is giving them kind of another tool to be more independent in their learning. And this doesn't mean that the teacher steps back completely from the learning the students connected um, with their teacher and it's actually easier to see um, how each student is doing and if they've got problems in a particular area or if um, you know they're advancing ahead and perhaps need extension. So I don't think it's about um, removing the role of the teacher, I think it's about integrating technology in the classroom um, and using different forms of, of media and different forms of teaching and learning to engage all students. Um, some of the students think I'm a little bit of a dag when I tell them this, but my all-time favourite game, Crash Bandicoot, I don't think there's been a game since that I have enjoyed or loved as much. <laughs>